Improper design and building projects lead to changes in orders, rework, budget overruns, schedule delays, and low constructability, and even bizarre construction fails. BEAM or Lean Design Principles have been presented as the answer to some of the construction ills that the construction industry is facing. There's a lot of uh, funny fails, like funny construction ills and that that's have been going, you know, on on the industry. Like now we need to solve all these construction ills. What's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will cover concepts of lean design and construction in Akihad with the intention to apply beam in the design phase to reduce some of these errors and improve productivity and efficiency. Lean values information. This video is about the core fundamentals of lean design, which is how to extract and display information from models once they are completed. This is a paradigm shift for managing and the design and documentation process to improve quality that was pioneered by the Toyota production system. This tutorial is to show you how lean design process in Akihead can enhance design complete, completeness and reliability, thus increasing design correctness. Uh, waste due to improper design will be reduced accordingly. Uh, missing information, missing information will be reduced, and errors as well. This is a, a great way to do a project-based data to communicate more about your project. And without further ado, guys. Let's get started. Uh, the key to improving overall quality in our modeling is to really model well, is to set up our models for beam-based collaborations. The collaborations should be linear. We should be able to share information at a click of a button. We should be able to share to our consultants, the team you are working with, energy advisors, uh, QS content surveyors, contractors, supply chain managers. This is just uh, the benefits of uh, using models for logistics of uh, materials, logistics of, um, you know, faster workflows, uh, constructability, uh, and then reviews in this manner. So principles in a kid of, of, of this like we already mentioned, uh, it was to improve collaboration, coordination, certainty, communication, and to apply them in a head, you need to uh, really model. Uh, models should be in layers, elements should be in layers, elements should be in classification, property managers. These are principles in a head. Layers and After saving, after using layers, you know that there is a value of using layers as easy management of your model, easy management of your information. You could decide what to show and what not to show, what to share and what not to share, as well as using as uh, saving views. Saving views is a handful principle in Archicad, uh, which is essential in terms of. What information do you need to share to what what uh, consultant? You don't want to share uh, everything with uh, a QS. You don't want to share a model with um, a client, every element with a client. So you need to filter models with layers and saving views, as well as classifications. Classifications help in streamlining quantity takeoffs, like element every element will be assigned to a classification element. There you have uh, the possibility to automate your labeling, to automate your uh, information, pulling information from your geometric model. Since the model is a 3D intelligent model, you can uh, automate the process of labeling, the process of extracting information, and so on. 
So automatic generation of reports and data extraction is one key factor in Archicad. So this is could be done only this could be streamlined only if elements are put in the right classification. So uh, the classification managers help in terms of uh, specifying the the building, specifying the building elements, whatever you're going to put inside there. That's basically intelligent. It's basically intelligent, and you're enriching the model with data. The I in the beam, that's lean lean values information you need to assign every element to its classification so in this template and so in the ms beam template we really emphasized the classification manager we need we had we were using the uni class format where every element has its own uh, information data of everything that you'd want to extract so basically if you want to assign a roof there's a roof um, classification and its information and data so that's the procedure you need to be following in terms of when you are looking at lean you know that's intelligent specification there is no lean without 3d in other words there is no beam without a 3d because the 3D is everything in, in our modeling concept, in this methodology. It acts as a window to the information to be extracted. Schedules and material takeoffs are extracted from a 3D model. Hence, hence the need to really model uh, perfect modeling skills, of which we have uh, quite a few tutorials in our YouTube channel uh, that can enhance your modeling. Uh, skills and hon you to be better in terms of a kid and modeling with a kid you could uh, check the links in the description for those videos I really recommend you guys watch them so you reach this level of um, detailing in a kid uh, here's just the demo rail um, I won't be doing a step-by-step -step, you know guide because there are already videos in the description which uh, I'd recommend you to watch. Uh, one will be the Beam Experience Kit 1 and 2 that uh, I really recommend you guys to watch. It will help you guys in terms of our workflows and uh, digitizing the construction sector. Another principle or holy grail in terms of producing a graphically appealing uh, intelligent uh, presentations is uh, the 3d document this is where you just might queue your project and get your 3d anywhere and then you right click and make it the 3 document it's sort of a drawing like in a 3d format uh, you save it and name it uh, the way, whatever you want to name it and you can edit the, the, the model display panel you could get hatching vertical boxes you could check check all these things and even include shadows, uh, different pen settings, play around with uh, graphical overrides in this 3 document, and produce, uh, uh, you know, interactive, visually appealing documentations and specifications as well. Like this could be handy in terms of uh, on-site details. The documentation is a holy grail. In the three document you could automatically label since elements are still active uh, elements still know what the their function are so you could uh, just pull a label the classification label settings and punch every you know every element you want to display hence a detailed uh, explanation a detailed uh, construction drawing can be produced a construction documentation can be produced uh, via the document and I is a in-depth tutorial of this uh, topic in our uh, channel so i'd leave the link to the video as well to reap the benefits of it um i think i've covered a few and um, basically it's, it's just to showcase 
the, the workflows of this template case this n has been template as a tool set you should have in your libraries and your resources because it has high quality pen sets legend of rooms presets of views presets of data stored favorites creation of you know can help you in terms of creation of quality drawings uh, beam based documentation of flows I think it's a way of holistically managing your workflows and automate everything because it's already set you can uh, just practice and manipulate and uh, rip the benefits out of it the application and usage of this process is in the workflow of or in the life cycle and building from pre-construction design to post-construction have a lot of benefits guys uh, you'd have benefits like uh, it's, you know accurate information are reliable uh, time saving techniques cost effective solutions easy information exchange simulations automated eco assessment of buildings inventory and asset management and building operation management this this has a a lot of features guys and this template has a lot of features uh, so you could see in last week's video i think we i did uh, an energy simulation using the same project hence you could take it and share with the energy advisors and see if your energy model is uh, fair enough is it correct is it you know they can run tests simulations you can send as well to your QS test reports you can you are able to generate any kind of report any kind of inventory your windows your doors your roof schedules your cabinetry your any schedule any report easily extracted extracted by a click of a button and for asset management for facility management you could use architect model for such because the information is accurate it's reliable extracted faster and so on so that's basically the benefits of using this uh, lean design concept in architect using layers using um, you know all this that i've been talking about a digital model means no more paper on the building site or at client meetings all relevant model data is at your fingertips for easy access and sharing this is me introducing guys to bmx bmx features the beam hyper model it is a game like navigation tool that helps you guys explore the building model and understand project deliverables real-time model cut throughs in context measuring and project markups in the model context make bmx the very uh, good companion on site now this is us taking our model to site to construction and we use bmx the bmx contain all the documentation in your arcade project and model views and layouts so as we are heading to a paperless future incorporate this workflow into your team into your offices the bmx workflow uh, I've, there's a video in the link, I'll leave it there. It's about how to create a beam, a hyper, hyper model. You just need, uh, you know, to check it out. And the process is how you upload it, how, how you extract it, and go on site. Okay guys, uh, we have come to the end of our video. This was just a step-by-step -step guide in terms of how we could apply the beam uh, lean concepts in our head and produce uh, drawings effective if, with uh, efficiency and at ease so we have a course page of how we could uh, help you guys in terms of your documentation workflows you can check out the course on the link in the description it's about documentation I cared. It's all about lean principles in depth. This was a showcase, a demo role of how you could set up your model 
for that but if you want to hone your skills check out the course uh, check out the course guys and the template as well if you need this holy grail template you could check it out as well uh, people are using it improve your documentation check it out um, thank you for your amazing feedback and interactions guys um, please subscribe to this channel if you are new here this will keep us motivated to provide videos more videos like this um, as always stay creative bye for now